So our patient here presented with some neck pain and she's been having numbness and tingling into the hand with uh, a little bit of weakness in her grip strength. Um, so we've done a bit of evaluation. I'll go over some of the evaluation. Um, so when we compress through here, she was having some symptoms and pain into here. And so she was kind of feeling a bit of numbness and tingling. What this does is we have the uh, pec minor running through here and we have the scalene muscle here. So this is a very common uh, thing that patients get and present with, in, especially in Seattle with the tech workers. Uh, she works at a desk and due to kind of postural strain, sometimes we get compression of the brachial plexus, which is the nerves that run through here and it gets compressed at the pec minor uh, as well as the scalene muscles here. So uh, we're going to show you a little bit of treatment that we do for these symptoms. Here we're just going to kind of loosen up some of the paraspinal muscles here. I'm going to show you often the SCM muscle here, the sternocleidomastoid runs to the clavicle and then all the way up to the mastoid process here. That gets very tight due to postural strain, especially when we kind of get that anterior head carriage. So we're just going to do a little bit of active release here where we're going to kind of work that to loosen that up. So I'm going to work over to the subscap. So subscap is part of your rotator cuff muscle in the shoulder. And the reason we release the, that a lot is it's an internal rotator of the shoulder. So when we're kind of uh, often at posturally, your shoulders round kind of forward. And if we don't release that, it's hard to get that shoulder to release, even if we release the pec minor. So we're going to kind of go through the subscap here with a couple of passes here. So here I'm just doing a little bit of pin and stretch kind of through here to release this. So now we're going to work the pec minor. I'm just going to get on the pec minor here. So we're going to bring that up and then we're just going to kind of depress that. Good. Okay. So often on these ones too, we, we have a bit of a hyperkyphosis through the thoracic spine from just kind of hunching and, and uh, bending over. So what we would do is kind of restore some of that uh, extension in the thoracic spine. So I'm going to adjust her thoracic spine here. We're going to slide you down a little bit. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to roll you over here a little bit. Good. So this area is very locked up kind of in her T4-5. I'm going to roll you. Deep breath in for me. Deep breath out. Good. Perfect. 